shed tractor shed that the uh, John Deere dealer here in our our town was using we actually were I did my dad I think he said 18 years ago 15 years ago they put this building up for the previous owner the dealership has since been sold a couple different times and uh Anyway, we've got three out of the six that we're going to replace. The ice, the weight of the ice and sleep in this uh, last winter storm had shifted it. Some of the ones and they actually took this forklift and held up the beam for extra support from uh, this for emergency. Well, that's enough for today. As you can see, the snows. It's like 65, 62, 65 degrees. There's still snow on the ground behind me. It came, I think we had like six to eight inches of snow, sleet, snow combo. And uh, we got a three post on that side, one right there. Uh, you know, we'll uh, steadily making progress, but we're gonna put one over there in that corner. Or not in the corner, but 
put two others up just the same as these three new ones. And I think they want one or two in the middle just to, to be safe. But it's quitting time. All my help's done left. So I guess I will too. See y'all tomorrow. About to get started here this morning on the last post. Of course, we're gonna set these middle posts with uh, concrete along the in this hole. Probably weld a few little spurs right in there, cleats or whatever to anchor the cut, anchor the uh, beam into the into the concrete. But yeah. All we did was replace these bent beams. As you can see right there, pretty good. Had a nice little twist to it. We cut them out, had the old lift. Pick each individual rafter, I guess it would be, up and replace it with a new I-beam post. A little bit time consuming, but of course we had to take the cable braces off. And we didn't do the corners and the outside, just the uh, the six on the outside centers, and then we're putting three more new beams where there was no, nothing but just a free span, open span right there. Uh, so we're gonna put, we've already got two. We done that yesterday. And we're gonna put one right about there where that tractor is, straight down. And set it in concrete. So yeah, it took us, it's gonna take us about two full days, but we have a extremely strong shed now, but that, ice was we, uh, we've got a scale up at uh, up at our headquarters at a sawmill that I think it weighed 4,500 pounds on a 7 by 60 or 7 by 80 but uh, if you do that square foot for the sleet and the snow that we had that comes out to like 35 or 40,000 pounds on this roof. And those little skinny eye beams like this one. The ones we got now are 18 pounds. But these are uh, maybe 10, 8 or 10. I'm not sure. Very thin. You can tell when you pick them up. They're just. I don't think this one bent. I think just the ones that we got did bent. Right there. Every one of the ones that we replaced for being, I guess. So, yeah. Could have been a bad situation. A lot of shed sheds around here fail. Uh, I don't know if anybody had a lot of damage. A lot of them kind of seen it coming and got most of their expensive, valuable equipment out before they, uh, before it ended up falling, but Yep, beautiful day today. Supposed to be a high of 75, so all the snow should melt. What you got? Broke it? Murder weapon in your face. 